Hey, what's up, Crypto Wizards? Sean here, and today I want to talk about high probability trading on Bitcoin using options. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to do is show you this chart over here. So Bitcoin right now is about $8,200. Um, if I move to this presentation I've set up for you, I took a screenshot of that chart at about the same 8,200, slightly higher when I took the screenshot. Uh, what if I told you that if between now and the end of December, Bitcoin was to stay, not stay, but it was to end up between these two price points that you would make money. So no matter which way the price moves, you'll make money as long as it ends up pretty much within those two price points. Now, the nice thing about this is if I move to the next slide, on the normal distribution curve, so a study was done and they found that typically a stock's price will be in a normal distribution of itself uh, within a given time frame. So at the moment, we're saying that if we follow the normal distribution curve, that Bitcoin will have a 68% chance of staying within one standard deviation of itself. So basically what I'm saying is if we apply what we know with stocks to Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a 68% chance of being between these two barriers, essentially. So if I move to this final chart over here, the standard deviation for Bitcoin right now, one standard deviation is probably about $760. So here you can see there's that 68% probability if it stays between these two price barriers. And then of course there's an added sort of 13% if it's down here. Those are the those are the probabilities. Now when I talk about high probability trading, 68% is actually a really nice probability to have. But how do you trade it? Well, with options, we can trade it and we can trade it with fixed risk. So let's go to our option trading tool over here. Now I'm going to clear what I have on screen right now and we're going to set up some positions. So the first position we're going to do is we're going to buy a put option. Now to make the maths easy right now, I'm just going to um, assume that Bitcoin's price today is $8,000. It just makes life easier for me right now. So if we assume Bitcoin's price today is $8,000, I want to buy a put option, say at $6,000 uh, strike price, meaning that I would have the right to sell Bitcoin at $6,000 between now and December the 29th. Um, right now, the volatility on Bitcoin, if I go by Deribit, so if I go to the Deribit website, uh, right now it's like 99, 100%, it's, it's really high. So I'm going to assume, uh, I don't know, we'll take, we'll take, we'll leave it at 95. How about that? So we leave it at 90, 95% right now. And I want to see on the chart what it'll look like at expiration. So I'm going to add in that position. So position two over here, I'm going to sell a put option. So before I bought a put option, now I'm going to sell a put option. Now, once we put all these positions together, I'm going to explain how it's all working. So don't worry, stay with me. So when we sell a put option now, I want to sell it a little bit more closer to the actual um, underlying price of Bitcoin today. So with a strike price of $7,000, giving me the right to sell it at $7,000 between now and December the 29th. So I'm going to add that position two in. Position three we want to add is to sell now a call option. So if the put option was $1,000 below, I want to sell a call option that's $1,000 above. So I want to be mirroring my put option strategy. So I'm going to add that position in. And then position four, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to buy a cheaper call option. Remember the first trade we placed on the put? I'm going to buy this for uh, $10,000, uh, not for $10,000, with a strike price of $10,000 and add that position in. Now let's exit out of our menu system over here. Now I can see, this is the beauty of this tool actually, I can see exactly how my profit's gonna pay out. So if the price of Bitcoin goes up to this price, $9,500, I make money. If it goes down and ends up down here at $6,500, I make money. So pretty much within the 68% probability range, I make money, which is really cool. If it falls below that range and it falls below that range and ends up below that range at expiry, I lose money. Now, I don't want to lose money. Here's the thing, though. We know that I have a 68% chance of this coming in my favor. So it's a high probability trade. You're going to have more trades that come out green than ones that come out red. 
Now, why is this important with options? Well, we spoke about before, you know, options give you the right to buy or sell uh, an underlying asset at a certain price within a given time frame. The key message here is time. When you're selling options, time decay works in your favor. The option holds its value, right? Um, when you are buying options, time to decay works against you. Option becomes worth less over time. But when you're selling, because it, it come, becomes worth less, because you sold it at the best price at the start date, you are the seller. So you get the opposite effect. So how does the strategy then work? Well, here's our put option. We said we'd buy a put option with a strike price of $6,000. Now, because that gives me the right to sell at 6,000, I'm at 8,000 today. So that option is really cheap. It's only $170, which is quite cheap considered considering the volatility is about 95%. If I was to sell uh, a put option now at $7,000, a $7,000 put option is worth more. If I went to click on buy quickly, you could see I would pay $450 for that option. But because I'm selling it, I get it as immediate income. So what I'm saying is you take that immediate income, but you buy a cheaper option so that if the price really does take a dive, you are fixing your loss. This is really interesting. Now, this strategy is called the iron condor. It's one of the most used options trading strategies in the stock market. And there's absolutely no reason you can't apply it to cryptos as in when we get some liquid options to trade. Um, if you saw my previous video, if you're not sure how or where to trade options right now for Bitcoin, go and look at the previous video. What I'm showing you here is pretty advanced. And in the next videos, we're going to get a bit more simple talking about options and how they work. So if you're bullish on Bitcoin, you might say, well, actually, I want to move all of these up a bit. I'm going to move this to 7500. Maybe that's 6500. I'm going to move this to um, 8500 and this to 9500. Um, you can actually play with the tool. You can play with what you think the strike prices should be, whether you think this whole curve should shift up because you think Bitcoin's price is quite bullish. It's going to land in a sort of higher range. Just play with it till your heart's content to try and see what strategy you might like to use. Anyhow, I, I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, as always, put in some comments or shoot me a note. Obviously, if you want to see the videos that I'm posting in the series about options, hit the bell button when you subscribe because you'll get notified. Um, but other than that, I look forward to catching up with you in the next video. So talk soon.